Hi, in this video, I will show you the first launch of the Luminate Monitor application. As I have just installed the application on my computer, I simply type the name of the application on Mac or click on the icon which will be created onto a Windows machine. Click open to validate this application. And now you are invited to select an IP address within multiple network interfaces available on your computer. Here Luminate Monitor asks you which IP address you want to use to discover the devices onto your network. If, like me, you are using multiple IP addresses onto the same network interface, please select the IP address you want to use to discover the devices. Mind that if you are planning to do some RDM discovery through Luminex node, it is very important to use the same IP address in the same range as the node, otherwise you won't be able to discover the devices. At the bottom, you can also see the tick box saying use limited broadcast R pole. This means that if you tick the box, the software will send a discovery and R pole packet with a destination IP address such as 255.255.255.255. In our case, we will be just using the plain uh, net directed uh, output packet using the uh, broadcast address of the network interface I'm selecting. Press OK when you're ready. Now the software asks you to uh, define the location of the LAMP library folder. By default, it will select the, core, the right LAMP library folder. So just click on Open and press Close. Now the software asks you what kind of preset you wish to use for the uh, application. By default, all widgets, which will be presented separately into uh, separate videos, are enabled. However, if you are an audio engineer and if you are only interested in seeing your network devices such as GigaCore switches, you can select the audio preset to just have the network devices available. For the purpose of this video, I will select the light preset which enables all widgets so we can see them one by one. My default language will be English and, and this is a personal taste, by default the software will use the day style, which is a white background, but for the purpose of this video, I will use the night background for a better readability. Press OK when you're ready. And the software is launched. For the purpose of the demonstration, I will close all the widgets and will introduce them to you one by one. Thanks for watching.